white hot pressure substance, we will fill our houses with spawn. Cast in that lot among us. Let us have one course. My son, what more thou in the way of death? Refrain thy foot from their path. He's warning us that before influence will come, enticement will come first. People will entice you with a lot of things. Maybe the things you have been longing for. They will entice you. And before you know it, then you will start now being influenced by their way of life. And what of God is warning us that we should be very careful of such because it leads to destruction. The way of bad influence. In the book of James, the word of God talked about James chapter 1, verse 13 and 14, and I read. Let no man say when he is tempted and tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he and man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his lust and entice. When you entice, you lost over what you entice with. And the difference will come. And there is something about the enticement. When you are seriously enticed, the spirit of enticement will make, will overrule the reality and the truth you know. And you start now going the way of that influence that is given. That's why we need to be very careful. And run away from any man or woman that is having evil influence that is capable of having an effect on our life. I see you separating yourself from every form of evil influence. This time around in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to say book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 4. And this I say, let any man to be guiding you with enticing words. Let no man be guided. Let no man deceive you with enticing words. Then you will not be able to press. Check any man or woman that was fooled before. Now if they will tell you that somebody somewhere, sometime, influenced them. We need to be very careful. Beware of evil influence. It's destructive. You can never be part of evil until you are influenced. Somebody must entice you. Come on, there is nothing there. Come on, everybody is doing it. Come on. It just wants. And before you know it, the reality that you know will be overridden by the power of influence that is such a person is having. But today, receive power not to fall for any form of influence or enticement in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, when God was about giving Israel the promised land, he kept on warning them about influence. God on Israel separately. About the people they would meet there. That they should not be friends. They are his people. That those people will be slain unto them. And that was why God warned them. Keep everybody there. Don't allow any man to stay because if you allow them, they will influence you negatively. And I will punish you when you go negatively. That was why Israel today is surrounded by tigers and lions and, and, and dragons. Every area of Rathabat Israel are surrounded by people that hate Israel. Why? They left the people they told them to destroy. And today, in Israel, somebody was telling me last two weeks about how the Jews, the, the, the Muslims, were attacking the Jews where they were having their, their fellowship. And the Jews now started stoning them. Because in Israel today, you go to Israel, you will see a lot of mosques. Mosques in the place where God has given his people to take charge. Islam is trying to take over Israel. Why? They allow the people in the land to influence them. So the people of God are now subjected to a religion, a strange religion. 
is dangerous. If you go to the word of God, drive from the book of Genesis 23, verse 33, God warned them concerning the, the promised land he was giving unto them and how they should go about the promised land so they could not be beaten. And he said, 32, Genesis, that is only chapter, chapter 30, 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou shalt their gods, it will surely be a great name unto thee. God warned them, if these people are dead, if you leave the remnant of them, they are going to influence you and you are going to go contrary to the worship on how I have instructed you 34. The same Thessalonians is 34 verse 11. And God said, Observe thou that fight which I command thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Hittites, the Hittites and the Jebusites. Take heed to thyself. Let thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest. Lest it be for a snare in the midst of you. For ye shall destroy their altars, break down their images, and cut down their roofs. God instructed them if you allow these people to stay, they will bring bad influence on you. And that's exactly what has happened to Israel. On the day, they are still struggling because the Lord told them that this war. Is ye and given. And also in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 16, the word of God says again concerning the structure is well against bad influence from the original occupiers of the land, whether they are going to occupy. 7 16, he says, Ye shall not tell the Lord your God as to tell them in the matter. Ye shall diligently keep the commandment, the Lord your God, and testimony of his status with which he has had for you. Praise God. God wanted. And when you check influence, you will see how strong it is that good manner can be corrupted. If you see a child that keeps company with bad children, that child will start becoming stubborn. It will start harassing the parents. The child will start stealing. It's not only a child, it's an adult. If you keep company with those that are not faithful to their spouses, definitely you will enter into adultery. If you keep company with liars, before you know it, you will become a liar. Praise God. You know, it's very easy to be a liar, even if you don't want to be a liar, and you are in the midst of liars. Praise God. Because they will start with making you a witness when you don't even want to be a witness. Praise God. As he's talking, he will say, uh -huh. she think I went to the US yesterday. And you look at your face. And you don't want to disappoint your friends. You may not say yes, you will just nod your head. When you leave, you say, you see, don't make me to lie your head. I know you don't go to rest and we say what, what is there? It's not your head and mouth. Does it change you? Praise God. Tomorrow they will not come to you. Uh -huh. I want to collect money from this man. I told him I'm expecting money and we are there. And you know that I'm expecting money. Next week I'll get money and I'll pay him. I want you to give me 500,000 naira. Is it not true? And you look at him and you start holding your head. Praise God. From holding your head, you start saying yes. From saying yes, you start practicing it. Because you say, this guy is smart, to look at the way he's collecting things because of one line or another. And before you know it, you are hitting the highway of becoming the best liar of the day. Praise God. We need to understand that. Don't think you cannot be impressed. Hallelujah. If you are used to going to party as a child of God with unbelievers, and you go to where they are singing, and the song is going. You may not dance, so, but the point of what is happening is that not in your head in the rhythm of the song. Praise the Lord. And something is telling you what stops you from standing up and giving them some moves. Praise God. And what you do is you're there. That's why we need to be very careful with influence. There was a man in the Bible who took second Samuel chapter 13. The first 
upon of David that had all the right to become the king after the death of David. His name was called Ammon. Ammon was a, a young man that had to but he started lost him after the sister, the half sister. He now told his friend, Jonathan, his cousin, this is what I'm having. I'm not going to my this half sister. He said, I'm going to say, shut up, you're a fool. Why should you not have your message? He said, Is that why you are worrying yourself? Don't worry. I told you, you don't have sense. Let me give you sense. This is what you are going to tell your father. Pretend to be sick. And if your father visits you, tell him that you want your heart to start up to come and make food for you. Finish. It's because they sleep with her. Everything was looking well. You know, the Lord God says in the book of Proverbs and the He said, There is a way that seems right unto a man on the end thereof and the ways of death. Everything was looking well. That you know that has given, uh, given his friend an bread. But how did he help him? After sleeping with Tama, Absalom has to kill him. It was the same his friend that told his father, don't mind everybody, he's just Jonada, he's the Amnon, it was Amnon, he's just because he raped the, the sister of, uh, of uh, Absalom. That was why he killing him. The king, don't mind him, he's dead. The same man that gave him the, the counsel. Every evil person associated with your life today, they are going to be totally separated in the mighty name of Jesus. We need to pray it up. Because human beings can be influenced. Human being has the capacity to be influenced. And that's why we must run away from any way that they are like evil influence so that we cannot be influenced negatively. Praise God. Look at this one. The king of Israel. Called Herod. The word of God made us to realize that Herod had great respect for John the Baptist. Herod believed that John was a prophet. And Herod was not listening to John because John was a man that was preaching the gospel without a teaching it. John was preaching, God says the Lord. He was not caring who was his God. John was preaching the real gospel without. Missing it all. Hell of a moment. But John was preaching a message that says that, Hell of you don't have to marry your brother's wife. He's still alive. Return your brother's wife to him. But the Herodians that Hell was married who had been desiring to become a queen, she was desperate. So when she hears it, John preaching it, she hated John with passion. This man wants to, 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 to destroy my opportunity of becoming the way. And the woman hated John with passion. The woman was the one that influenced Herod to imprison John. Even at that, Herod was seen, even in prison, Herod still saw John as a prophet, a man of God. But look at influence. Wow. We are reading from the book of Mark chapter 6. Mark 6, 20 to 27. Follow through and see what influence can do to a man or a woman. 20. For Herod, fear John, knowing that he was a just man and unholy and observing. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And when a golden day was born, that Herod was on his way day made a supper um, to his lords without high captains and high chief estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod, and then that sat with him, the king said unto Damsel, Ask of me whatever thou art with, and I will give it thee. And he swear unto her, Whatever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, 
the head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway in haste unto the king and said, I will that thou give me by and by in the charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceedingly sorry, yet for his own sake and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded him his head to be brought. And he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in the church and gave it to the damsel. And the damsel gave it to her mother. Praise God. Don't 
say, I, 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 I cannot, I can have too much. I can. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. Let him that thinketh in standard take him, lest he fall. Beware of evil influence. That's the word of God this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to close this service with two stories. Are you there? You want to hear the stories? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I'll take you now to this. great stories. These are two great stories of influence. I will start with one. A, 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 a shepherd in the wilderness was going one day. As he was going, he saw a baby lion that the mother just finished giving birth to. A lioness gave birth to, and the mother, the mother died. So it was remaining a small lion, very small, tender. So the shepherd now took the lion and took the lion home and now started breaking up the lion with the sheep, in the midst of the sheep. And as he was breaking the lion, it was, the lion was taking the baby male of sheep and was growing in the midst of the sheep. And any time they go to go and graze, the lion is always with them. When they finish, they go back home. So the lion started eating grass because the lion saw other sheep that are, we are all warm. But the lion did not know that he was not a lion. He just grew up and saw himself in the midst of sheep. So, but something was happening when the lion grew up. The lion always saw that any time they were in the bush there, one animal will come. And when the animal comes, even the shepherd will run away. And the animal will carry one of the sheep and go. So it is it was the first commandment in the midst of the shepherd's house. Anytime you see this animal, run for your life. Because even the shepherd will not even protect the sheep. The shepherd will also escape for his dear life. Now, they started growing. This thing kept on happening. But one day, the lion and the sheep, one of them went after crazy, they went to drink water. And when they drink water, and it was a sunny day, the lion man looked inside the water to drink water, and he now saw his shadow in the water. The shadow looked exactly like that same animal that usually come to pick the animals and eat them. So initially the lion thought, ah, this animal has come The lion ran back and looked back. He did not see anything. He jumped back again, looked inside the water. He saw the same lion, the same face of a lion that usually come. He ran away. At the time, he now stood. He said, this animal is not the right. I'm still surrounded by sheep and nobody was running. Except me. The lion man took one of his legs, hand ball, and saw that as he took it off, it was a shadow. The hand of the lion took off. He took the other one, he said, he shaved his leg. He said, ah, this is my picture now. So, he now looked at other sheep and saw their faces. What's that? I am not like these animals. I am different. I am like exactly the same animal that I usually the right animal. And I'm living with these people and eating grass. And they're even harassing me and insulting me. The lion now made up his mind. I said, This insult is over. I don't belong to this company. I will go to where I belong. Anytime this animal comes again, I'm not going to run. Because I don't look like this sheep. So one day again, lion came again to invade all the way. The lion that grew up with the sheep stood. I was looking at the lion. And the lion was also surprised seeing it. So both of them, he did not carry any sheep again. He now saw fellow lion. They looked at themselves. He came close and walked around the, the lion that lived with the sheep. And the lion was looking at him. After he finished walking, he grew up and started going back to the bush. The lion followed it and grew up. Praise God. 
That was how the life came that is it. I don't belong to sheep. I'm not supposed to be eating grass. I'm supposed to be even eating these people that I am with. Praise God. Today, a lot of lions are eating grass because they don't understand that the company they are in is the wrong company. They are influenced by their company and they are living a life that they don't supposed to live as a result of influence, being in the wrong company. That's the first and negative word. You want to hear the positive word? You see what I hear? If you want to hear, say what I hear. Now I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. Now listen, see the second one. There was a professor. This professor was a scholar, a great professor, a renowned professor in his discipline. He has been giving talk globally. They invite him to come and give talk. So he has been traveling, giving talk, talking on that same subject matter. One day he was invited. But there was a driver that had driven this professor for 15 years. He has been his driver for 15 years. And any time the professor will be going and traveling to give talk, this same driver will be the one that will drive him. And if the professor is giving talk, the driver will sit down among the people that are being taught and be taking his notes. When the professor finishes, the driver will stand up and carry his bag and they will go. He has been doing that for 15 years. So one day the professor was invited. This same driver was not educated. He was just having his first school living certificate, primary six. He has not even secondary school certificate. But he has been following this man for years, driving him. One day the professor was invited. And as they were going for the teaching, the driver was looking at professor from the mirror inside. And he said, sir, I want to ask you one thing. Please do it for me. The man said, go ahead. What do you want? He said, sir, I want to teach this topic that you want to go and teach today. Can you give me the opportunity? The professor said, well, do you understand what you are talking about? Do you know how many years I, 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 I studied before I get to this point? The, the driver said, please sir, I will teach this topic and I'm telling you I'm going to do justice on this topic. Give me a chance. It was a long journey. They were, the man was begging at the time. The professor now said, okay. I will give you a chance to mess yourself up. So when you mess yourself up, I will come and redeem you. The man said, no problem. The people that were inviting the professor, they never know the professor, they heard of him, and they decided to invite him. Are you there? Now it's becoming interesting. Praise God. The story is becoming interesting. Listen, listen, and listen very well. Now, look at what happened. As they were going, the professor said, okay, when we get close to that place, you will be my, I will be your driver, you will be the professor. He said, no problem. So when they got close to the place, the professor got down, removed his suit, and gave it to the driver. He entered the driving wheel, and the driver entered the back as a professor. When they arrived, the people rushed immediately, went to the back door, opened the door for the driver claim professor. He came down and he told the professor, carry my bag. The professor went and carried his bag and they marched him. They ushered the driver to the podium as the guest speaker. The driver that supposed to be the professor went back and sat down with the crowd and was watching. So before the lecture starts, the people started idolatizing the professor the driver came professor and said, this man has taught all over the world. He has been giving lecture all over the world. He's a renowned professor, an elder scholar. They will be giving all manner of accolades. And the driver Tom professor went to the podium, collected the microphone, and started to lecture. And the professor Tom driver was watching with keen interest. He started the same topic that he talked about and started the way the professor usually gave the topic. He was giving it to them. He was giving it to them. 
The professor was shivering. This is my driver that is having just two first dealing with this subject. After teaching, everybody stood up. You know, just come here. Say, this is what I'm teaching. The problem started. Waste of time. They were asking questions. And I answered all the questions concerning that topic perfectly. One person now stood up and said, Sir, I've been waiting for an opportunity to meet with you today. Because I've been looking for you. I've heard your teachings. I have all your tapes. Today I have the opportunity of meeting you one on one. Prof. Prof. Please, Prof. I want to ask you a question that is not related to this topic. And this question is still important to me because I don't know when I will see you again. He said, go ahead. Then I ask the clear professor the question. I want to ask the question. He said, what? As because what the other people say, sir, what is funny? He said he was surprised that he, the person that asked this question, did not know this simple question. They said, sir, it's not a simple question. None of us can know it. Please, sir, help us. He said the question is too simple. They said, no, please tell us. He said to prove that this question is too simple. He said, listen, I am going to take my driver. Let's go. I'm going to tell my driver. It's too simple for me to answer. My driver will answer the question. For you to know that this question is too simple. He said, my driver. Now, the professor told the driver was at the back. He said, sir. He said, you hear the question? He said, yes, sir. He said, answer them. The professor will come out. And he was giving them with example, with example, with everything, leaving the topic, was giving them Everybody said, wow. Even the driver of this lecturer, the this professor, is a scholar. That this man is not a human being, he is a genius. Praise God. How did he get to know about it? Influence by following the professor. Everywhere he goes, he follows him. Now the driver with first police certificate has become a professor as a result of fellowship and a result of relationship. Your life can change through relationship, either positive or negative. And that's why we need to be very careful. Remember the Bible. Praise God. It's happening every day. It's happening every day. Some people that walk in love fair, in chambers, love fair. The experience they have with lawyers in the love fair has given them the power to go to court and present themselves as lawyers. Many of them. Civil engineers we have now, some artisans that know the world. There are some artisans that can build houses that civil engineers cannot be able to build. Because they are full of engineers and they are working with experience. That even the engineers, the engineers that are not retailed cannot be ordered. Why? Relationship. Influence. We can be wrongly or rightly influenced. Because human being is a product of influence. I will read one scripture, we close the book of Nazar Abba chapter 4, verse 13. When the disciples were moving under the death of Jesus Christ, they were challenging lawyers, they were challenging doctors. And the doctors looked at them and knew that these ones were illiterate and looked at what happened. The book of Nazar Abba chapter 4, verse 13. Look at what they're talking about. The, 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 the disciples. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Illiterate fishermen, we are with Jesus for three days. They are white chains. And they were challenging the doctors of law. In the scripture, teaching them the scripture. Those that have spent all the years of their life studying scripture, they were teaching them why the revelation and the inspiration of Jesus wrought off them. So the illiterate.
Grace became scholars and they were challenging professors. Beware of evil influence because human beings can be rightly or wrongly influenced. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Praise God. If you have not received Jesus in your life as your personal Lord and Savior, this is the best time to pray before praying. Say, let this mind that is in Christ be in you. When you have the mind of Christ, you become so powerful and even influence other people positively for Christ. And you'll be able to discern when to run away from any influence that can be able to take you back home. Confess your sins right now and ask for forgiveness of sins. If you want to be in Christ today, as your best Lord and Savior, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiveness of sin, O Lord. Be that was exalted. In Jesus' most powerful name, pray. You need Jesus in your life as best Lord and Savior. Say this prayer of faith after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. And in cross of Calvary, and on the third day, you rose again, that I might be justified. Thank you for saving me from sins and Satan to serve the living God. Today I am born again in the child of God. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for the name of Jesus. Your grace has brought this one. Let your grace preserve them in the name of Jesus. I pray that your mighty power and blood that flows from the fountain of Golgotha shall be able to pour this one to love from every every of sins in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' most powerful name we pray. The last thing we thank you for today, Lord. Thank you, Father, for all you have done. I pray, O oh Lord, against every form of evil influence over everyone that is hearing this message. Everyone that is hearing this message, any relationship that is not positive, any relationship that will lead to bad influence, evil influence in your life, I command now for a spiritual severance, physical severance, in the mighty name of Jesus. I detach you, I separate you from every form of influence that will not take you positively towards the purpose of God in your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I cover your life in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' most powerful name, we are praying. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.